Hi, this is Good Questions with Sosa, and this week we wanted to answer your guys' questions about the Black Kensington shirt, so we set out to interview Mr. Benson and Mr. Rodriguez. I don't think it was a ban on the school shirts as much as it was just an uh, issue of safety and concern for the students. Um, our school uniform is white polos and khaki pants, and there's a lot of other high schools that are around our, our community also. And it's more of an issue of being able to identify our students when they're outside of the building and mixed up with uh, students from other schools. There's been a couple incidences where parents and community people have complained to our principals about rowdy students, and they assume that it's us. But when we asked them, you know, can you identify their uniforms, the colors that they were wearing, and the teachers and the parents identify um, another, stu you know, another color, it's easy for us to be able to, s to say, you know, those weren't our students. Our students wear white collars and khaki pants because the uniform is khaki and white. So I began selling the black shirts um, because we wanted to promote school pride and we wanted kids to feel, you know, like they could represent Kensington. Uh, there was a time when people didn't even want to be identified as being in, uh, a student of Kensington at all. And we know that Kensington is doing big things now. That's why on the shirt it says from the bottom to the top. That's why we pretty much created it. Plus it helps us raise money for the freshmen um, on our floor on the night, because I'm a ninth, ninth grade dean. Uh, we're using it actually for a field trip that's going to be coming up. That's going to be paying for the bus. So a little bit of profit we made on it is going like, to fund some of the school activities that we have. I guess what was my feelings towards the uh, petition that was going around, you know, when it came to the shirts? I was honestly, I was extremely proud that our students took that much pride in creating a document to show their support for something that they wanted. You know, unfortunately it was, you know, to fight a battle against something that's already been, you know, approved and demanded by administration and by your entire staff, you know, the shirts. Uh, I just wish that, you know, our entire student body would take that approach when they want to attack anything that they do not like. You know, uh, I feel like it was a good move. You know, I felt like it created some pr pretty good uh, school spirit. You know, I just think you have to pick and choose your battles when using those different vices when it comes to certain situations. Can the students ever wear the shirts to school? Of course. Um, some of our students have found different ways to uh, wear their shirts. Uh, a lot of our students wear their collared shirts underneath the actual black shirts or the black sweaters and I think that looks extremely uh, professional. So as long as they do that but they honor the collared shirt code, I believe they're fine. 